the first question here a reaction coordinate diagram is given and it is asked the number of intermediates involved transition states involved in the reaction now we can see that in if a one step reaction is there in the one step reaction we can see that this is reactant and this is product if we have two step process in two step process there will be an intermediate this is a reactant product and this is an intermediate so this peaks corresponds to the transition state now we can see that this is a reactant and this is a product the intermediates can be seen here i1 and i2 i have written these two are the intermediates and these peaks represents the transition states so first transition state second and third now we can see that number of intermediates in this reaction is 2 correct number of transition states are 3 correct and whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic the delta h of the reaction we can write enthalpy of product minus enthalpy of reactant here we can see that enthalpy of reactant is less the product is less than reactant therefore delta h will be negative if delta h is negative this reaction is exothermic this is wrong so p and q are correct next question is based on goc it is asked which of the following compound is most acidic this is a routine question we know that if any acid is losing h plus easily that is more acidic that will be determined by the stability of conjugate base formed if the conjugate base formed is more stable the corresponding acid will be more acidic now the conjugate base is the anion here the phenoxid anions the phenoxid anions will be stabilized by what the electron withdrawing groups and destabilized by electron releasing group at meta position the methyl group will act as the plus i group and the chlorine will act as minus i group no2 will act as minus i group there is no electronic effect of any group here in the first option so we know that no2 is a strong minus i compared to the chlorine as it is my stronger minus i group it will stabilize the phenoxide o minus i n better therefore the meta nitrophenol lose the h plus ions readily compared to the other four acids so meta nitrophenol is more acidic most acidic among given the next question is very simple it is asked which is most basic oxide so here we can see that b2o3 a non metal oxide it is acidic cr2o3 you know the amphoteric tl2o3 and tl2o are basic between tl2o3 and tl2o which is more basic with increase in oxidation state basic character decreases therefore tl2o is more basic than tl2o3 so our answer will be tl2o the next question which of the following element is not present in the nestler's reagent A very simple question nestler's reagent is alkaline k2hg i4 so it is potassium is there in this nestler's reagent mercury is there iodine is there but nitrogen is not present next question which of the following is not obtained on electrolysis of brine solution a routine question is asked so we know that brine is aqueous concentrated sodium chloride solution which gives na plus ions chloride ions in water where h2o water molecules are present now we know that at cathode reduction takes place at cathode reduction takes place what are the species available for reduction here na plus and water we know that being high electropositive sodium so na plus has high discharge potential therefore na plus won't get reduced at cathode 
water will get reduced water will get reduced to h2 and liberating hydroxyl ions so in concentrated brine solution chloride ions will get oxidized to cl2 chloride is oxidized to cl2 so therefore what is left in the solution sodium na plus ions and oh minus is left that is sodium hydroxide is left in the solution so now we can see that h2 gas is released at cathode chlorine gas is released at anode sodium hydroxide is left in the solution sodium metal is not at all formed in the process so d will be the correct answer next very simple question from s block bcl2 exist in solid state vapor phase and high temperature of the order 12 kelvin in the 1200 uh, kelvin so what is the forms they have asked for beryllium chloride so beryllium chloride in solid state it is polymer so chlorine act as the bridge ligand here so coordination number of beryllium is 4 and hybridation is sp3 so this beryllium chlorine beryllium chlorine bonds will extend and form a polymer so in solid state it is polymer in generally vapor phase at below 1200 kelvin it is dimer so dimer becl2 dimer so it will be again having the chlorine bridge be to cl4 at very high temperature the dimer also breaks to form monomer so the correct answer is it is at room temperature it is polymer in vapor phase it is dimer at very high temperature it is monomer next question again it is from s block which of the following has highest hydration energy which is a repeated question hydration energy means the cations will get hydrated by water molecules this will attract the water molecules del h plus ion dipole attractions will be there so there will be two layers will be formed around beryllium plus two first layer due to ion dipole second layer due to the van der Waal interactions so beryllium plus 2 which has the very small size high charge density due to high charge density of beryllium plus 2 it will attract the more water molecules in the water so as the more number of water molecules will surround it its energy will be released more because due to attraction between beryllium plus 2 and water molecule be plus 2 ion will get stabilized in water and it will release the energy as the size of the metal ion is increasing the attraction with the water will decrease and hydration energy decreases so beryllium plus 2 will have the highest hydration energy next this is also a common question asked here oxidation state of manganese in kmno4 changes by three units in which medium they have asked so kmno4 can act as the oxidizing agent in three different media that is acidic medium neutral medium and alkaline medium it is well known that in kmno4 in acidic medium changes to mn plus 2 so from plus 7 it is changing to plus 2 change in oxygen state is 5 in neutral medium it will be converted to mno2 change in oxygen state is 3 in strongly alkaline medium it changes to mno 42 minus manganate change in oxidation state is 1 3 unit change in oxidation state is observed in aqueous neutral medium next it is asked what is the IUPAC name of the complex K3COC2O4 thrice this is an oxalate ion and cobalt complex is given now first we should identify what is the charge on the complex entity 
in this case the complex entity has the negative three charges therefore while we writing the name of the metal we should add the suffix eight if the charge on the complex is zero or positive in that case the metal has no change in its name if we write cobalt only but when the charge on the complex entity is negative we should add the negative suffix uh, eight suffix that is cobalt becomes cobalt eight now the complex we should calculate the oxidation state of the metal here potassium three are there so plus three cobalt is x three into oxalate is minus two is equal to zero so x will be plus three so cobalt oxidation state is plus three now what is the name here potassium trioxalate cobaltate potassium trioxalate cobaltate oxidation state is three so it's very simple question next question <coughs> here in this reaction this reactant is treated with h plus it is asked what is the product so when it is treated with h plus ions the oh will be protonated forming oh2 plus which is a good leaving group and water is removed forming carbocation now this is secondary carbocation when we migrate the methyl group it changes to tertiary carbocation so it will show one two methyl shift to form tertiary carbocation now this tertiary carbocation formed will undergo intramolecular attack by this pi electron cloud forming a six membered ring six membered ring will be formed and this carbon will be at the positive charge now this carbocation intermediate formed will lose the h plus from the adjacent carbon forming the double bond between the carbon so simple question forming the carbocation rearrangement then intramolecular attack and loss of h plus such option is there here first option next question during the detection of lead formation of which of the following compound is not used as confirmatory test now if you have lead ions if i add sulfate white precipitate of pbso4 is formed so we can use as a confirmatory test but in lead plus 2 salt if i add nitrate salt there is no observable change because lead nitrate is water soluble so we cannot use this formation of lead nitrate as a confirmatory test but in lead plus 2 if we add chromate yellow precipitate of pbcro4 is formed so we can use this in lead plus 2 if we add potassium iodide yellow precipitate of pbi2 is formed so we can use it so formation of soluble lead nitrate cannot be observed so we cannot use it as the confirmatory test next question so this question is asked on the conjugate addition a ketone is given conjugated ketone is given and grignard reagent in presence of q plus iodide is given so there is a difference in the reaction with only grignard reagent or grignard reagent in presence of q plus iodide if only grignard reagent is there this will add on the carbonyl carbon directly but in presence of q plus iodide grignard reagent changes to argon copper compound that is ch3 cu here mgi2 is removed and ch3 cu is formed so which is a less reactive organometallic compound so will attack on the carbon double bonded carbon on this carbon so now we can add here now this becomes double bond and this becomes o minus so this is the conjugate addition so in the second step 
they have added n propyl iodide again so if you add n propyl iodide again this o minus form double bond here this carbon becomes minus that will attack here and i minus will be removed so we'll be getting the product on which there is methyl group on this carbon and propyl group on this carbon so i think this is a memory based paper so this options might be there would have been there this is the correct answer so on first second this is a first second third second carbon there should be a propyl group and third carbon two methyl group should be there so next <coughs> so there are some compounds are given how many of these are pesticides this is from environmental chemistry directly textbook based question ddt and aldrin are pesticides sodium arsenate and sodium chlorate are herbicides so in this four two compounds are pesticides two are herbicides next this question is based on amino acids and their single letter code so in the january session also they have asked some questions based on this this time also they have asked you should be thorough with the ncrt for attempting this question so now you can see that amino acid alanine has single letter code a asparagine n aspartic acid d and arginine r so that means alanine is a q asparagine is n p aspartic acid is d s arginine is r q p s r So there should be some typing mistake here so it should be qpsr <laughs> next question the number of compounds that give iodoform test so we know that methyl ketones will give the iodoform test what is iodoform test methyl ketones on reaction with i2 naoh will give chi3 chi3 so this part will convert to what salt phc double bond ona similarly secondary alcohol with methyl group here so r ch oh ch3 also gives iodoform test because in presence of i2 this will be first oxidized to r co ch3 that will convert to r c double bond o co O minus Na plus and CHI3. So secondary alcohol with methyl group. So we can see that this methyl ketone will give the positive iodoform test. This cannot give. There is no methyl group. This is a methyl uh, secondary alcohol with methyl group here. Tertiary alcohol cannot be oxidized. They cannot give the iodoform test. So here. Two is correct answer. Next, here if A naught is the radius of hydrogen atom, then it is asked De Broglie wavelength of electron in third orbit of Li plus two ion. So first we calculate the radius of third orbit of lithium plus in terms of A naught. Radius of nth orbit is a naught into n square by z. You know that n is three here and z is also three. So r three we are getting as three a naught. So we know that for de Broglie wavelength lambda two pi r is equal to n lambda. So r is here r three third orbit. So r three is three a naught and n lambda n is three. So three lambda. So from this we can get lambda is equal to 2 pi 2 pi a naught so they are asking it as x pi a naught what is x value so x is 2 simple question so first we should calculate the radius of third orbit that we are getting as 3 a naught so for constructive interference in a orbit 2 pi r should be equal to n lambda n is 3 and r 3 is equal to 3 a naught from that we get x equal to 2 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैव सेम रिलेटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ पेपर प्रेशर सो दिस इज फ्रॉम द क्वालिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज वी नो दट डेल्टा पी बाई पी नाट इज ईक्वल टू ई इंटू एक्स सो दैट मीन फर् सेम रिटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेसर आर एल वी पी कंसट्रेशन आफ दि पार्टिकल शुड बी सें सो कंसट्रेशन आफ पार्टिकल मीन ई इंटू एम शुड बी सें सो ई आफ एन एस एल इज टू इट कैन प्रोड्यूस टू पार्टिकल सो कंसट्रेशन आफ पार्टिकल इज वन इंटू टू टू यूरिया डज नाट डिस्सोस इट इज नाट एन इलेक्ट्रोलैट कंसट्रेशन आफ पार्टिकल इज वन वन मोलार ए एल सी एल थ्री विल प्रोड्यूस फोर पार्टिकल वन ए एल प्लस थ्री एंड थ्री सी एल मैनस नैट कंसट्रेशन आफ पार्टिकल विल बी सिक्स वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू फोर एन ए टू एस ओ फोर विल प्रोड्यूस टू एन ए प्लस एंड वन सलफेट पार्टिकल विल बी थ्री एंड टू मोल आर सिक्स सो दीज टू विल हैव द सेम कंसट्रेशन ऑफ पार्टिकल एंड प्रोड्यूस सेम रिलेटिव लोअरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर next question this is based on solid state here seven systems are given crystal systems are given it is asked how many of them have bcc unit cell so you can go through the ncrt this table we can see that cubic has body centered unit cell tetragonal also has the body centered unit cell and orthorhombic has body centered unit cell other have primitive and end center end center is there in monoclinic so body center is not there in other so only three have the body center next this is a repeated question it is asked how many of the following molecules are square planar in shape xcf4 xcf4 is square planar because it is sp3 d2 and two lone pairs are there sf4 it is sp3 d and one lone pair is there it is seesaw nico4 it is very common molecule common complex it is sp3 tetrahedral nicn4 2 minus is very common it is dsp2 and square planar fcl4 2 minus this is also common cl minus is weak ligand So it formed tetrahedral complex. CuNH3 four two plus is DSP2 and square planar. PdCl4 two minus though Cl is weak ligand. 4D and 5D series produce enough splitting for the formation of square planar complex. So PdCl4 is two minus is a square planar complex. So among these four complexes, that is. Species square planar species are there. One is XCF4, NiCN4 two minus, CuNH3 four two plus, and PdCl4 two minus. Next, a basic question from stoichiometry again. Volume of HBr needed to completely neutralize barium hydroxide solution. So we can write the reaction here. Two HBr will react with one mole of BaOH twice. So number of moles, millimoles of barium hydroxide is 0.1 here. We can see that number of millimoles of HBr required is 0.2. So molarity 0.02 and volume is required to calculate. And volume will get 10 ml. So this is the memory based paper. You can go through this paper and get some idea.